food waste is the largest single component of our waste stream. So until we get that out of our waste stream, our waste stream just isn't going to be as good as it could be. So my name is Zach Berliner and I'm a junior here at Bucknell and I'm an environmental studies and economics double major. I think that students are generally conscious of food waste after they eat it. But I think it's also an issue because we're not currently making people separate their food out, so they're kind of just throwing it out and they're not really thinking about it. So I think that if we if, you know, force people to separate their food out into some sort of compost bin or whatever, it'll force them to think about it more. But we're generally charged per unit of volume per ton of stuff that we send to waste management for garbage. So if we were to cut that down, we could save a lot of money. The best way right now would obviously be to compost it in any way possible. So it's everybody's responsibility to dispose of their food waste properly. Um, but then again, I also think it is the university's responsibility to provide us the opportunity to do it correctly. So I think it's kind of a joint venture. Uh, my name is John Cummins. I'm the general manager of resident dining here at Bucknell University. I've been here for eight years. And what my job entails is overseeing the production of food and the service of food. In um, dining service management, one of the most important facets from a fiscally responsible point of view and from a sustainability point of view is the production of the food, and virtually that's what you're asking for. The Boswick Marketplace uh, serves 4,000 meals a day. So ultimately, every one of the areas in the Boswick Marketplace all have kind of a predictive uh, number of people that we're assuming are going to eat off of it based on history. So food production um, in 2014 is a science, but it's also very cyclical. We hypothesize using what we call production sheets. They define how much food for a certain area, uh, how much food to make for that area. And if we're correct, um, we're fine. And if we're not, we make more. So it's all about juggling. It's all about uh, predicting using production sheets and then keeping accurate records so that the next time that menu comes together, we can predict exactly how much. There is, a again, a perfect storm of fiscal responsibility and sustainability initiatives. And the concept here is we don't want to waste food. And so if we do our job well, post-production waste, that food that's wasted during the process of making it, uh, is non-existent. For one year, we were able to forge a relationship with a local uh, pig and chicken farmer and uh, actually compost 13 tons of waste. It was a cool relationship and eventually it ran its course and it was kind of a bummer and we really want to compost this stuff. Yeah, so I, in an ideal situation, and if money and logistics weren't an issue, I would have a composting bin next to every single set of recycling and trash cans. That I think that would be the best thing. And we're lucky because we live in the middle of farm country, so I, it, it, I think it would be really, really easy actually to dispose of our food waste sustainably because it would just, some, it'd just be a matter of driving our food waste a few miles and then having it composted right on a farm locally and they can use it there. You know, it's not like we're in the middle of Manhattan and we can't find anybody to compost anywhere, so we're lucky in that sense. Well, my name is Dick Ewell. Uh, my wife's name is Virginia Ewell. We are the owners of the Ewell's Pride Farm operation. Composting is taking your natural products and just mixing it all together. And to me, it's just so exciting just to see the process of turning to compost. We sell anywhere from 1,800, 2,000 yards a year of the compost. Now there's more local places making compost also, and that's where they're getting it from. The main benefit is, to me, it's natural. There's no chemicals. It's a natural product. It's keeping stuff out of the landfill. To me, they're just keeping the chemicals away from the human environment. I don't think you need to have all the chemicals that we're getting in our systems today. And if we can keep it natural and keep going the same way or better, it's better for everybody. The environment, the people, the, the world.